Hey guys, welcome to my video of my daily routine when I'm on my own with my two kids. My partner works away a lot, so I tend to be on my own with them and this is what my entire day looks like from start to finish. So my littlest boy wakes up at around 6.30, 6.45 a.m. I will go in and get him, give him a kiss and a cuddle and take him downstairs ready to get his milk. He likes his milk as soon as we get downstairs, so I make it straight away. I'll get him settled on the sofa with some cartoons, and then I can get my coffee sorted. Now that he's all settled, I can make myself a coffee. I love to have a latte in the morning, especially as the mornings start quite early. It perks me up and gets me ready to go. I'm gonna just have a caramel latte using my Tassimo machine. Get up, get up, do it, it's always mixed emotions. The first step is always hard. When you walk out of the doorway, but that's just the place to start. And I'm just gonna take a minute to sit down, drink my coffee, watch my little boy have a play and watch his cartoons and just relax for a minute before my eldest boy gets up. So I'm just preparing Leo's milk. He loves to have a cup of milk when he wakes up, but I am gonna have to go and wake him. I give him till about 7.40 a.m. and if he's still asleep by then, I go in and get him up. Otherwise, it's just too much of a rush before school. Now that both boys are up and have started their day, had their milk, I make their breakfast. It's about quarter to eight, so a little bit later than I normally do it, but Leo <laughs> didn't want to wake up today. They are both gonna have a slice of toast for breakfast. I don't have the time to be making anything fancy. However, Leo does get excited to have his morning vitamin with his breakfast. These are the new Sesame Street Multivitamin Gummies by Sea Lions and Leo loves them. They are raspberry flavor, all completely natural flavors with no added colors. They are sugar-free and vegan and have eight essential vitamins with biotin and folic acid as well. This big bag, which actually lasts 30 days of the vitamins, is only five pounds, which is such a bargain, I think. Children's multivitamins can be really overpriced, and these are so reasonable. As I said, they are a big hit from Leo. You'll see him eating his in just a moment. As I said, he always looks forward to it. It's the fun part of the breakfast, and I know that he's getting all of his vital vitamins for the day. Did you ever stop and think why spend too much time just kidding? I will put a link for Sea Lions down in the description box as they don't only do the Sesame Street kids gummies, they do every vitamin you can think of and they are all super reasonably priced, so I will link them below for you. When I see you, my heart starts racing, but I don't know if I like this change. I'm also going to make sure that I have time to have breakfast myself this morning. Sometimes I forget, <laughs> but I am going to make sure that I have a bowl of Special K this morning while the boys are just playing and relaxing together. This time. So it's now time to go upstairs and get dressed. I sort out the boys' outfits for the day first. I get out Leo's uniform and lay it out for him, ready for him to get himself dressed, and I'll choose what Cooper's going to wear. Obviously, I need to get myself dressed as well. Usually the boys just play for a minute in their bedrooms while I quickly get myself dressed. I don't know what I could say to convince. Honestly, I take my hat off to any mum who manages to show up on the school run with a full face of makeup looking really glam because I just don't do it. I haven't got the time and I can't really be bothered. I probably wear makeup like once a week. So I'm literally just gonna tie my hair up and do my brows and that is it and then I will go and get Cooper dressed. It's a 
shame that my hands start shaking all of the time when you're around me. But this time, this time, girl, I know what's bothering me. I need somebody. To if I have time while we're upstairs, I always try and make the beds. It just makes me feel so much better. I think it's so good for your mental well-being to set you up for the start of the day. So like I said, if I have time, I will make sure to do it. So I have brushed the boys' teeth and I'm just going to make their bottles ready for school and nursery. So why? So why? This is being filmed in the summertime, so I'm gonna put some sun cream on the boys before we go, and I'll also sort out Leo's hair. I like to do his hair before he goes to school. Don't need to do Cooper's because <laughs> he still hardly has any hair, bless him. So we have got our bags, we've got all our things that we need for today and it is time to go. I'm going to get the boys in the car and I'm going to take them to school and nursery. Luckily their school and nursery are on the same site so I only have to do the one school run which is very convenient. So I am officially child free now for the next three hours and there is a lot that I need to get done. First thing I need to do is deliver all of these parcels. I've sold some things on Vinted and all of these parcels need to be delivered this morning. So I'm gonna pack them all up and deliver them first thing. While wishing for something better I try to fix things that weren't broken Misunderstanding Unspoken, we fall apart, and I won't dare to say. Next thing I'm gonna do is my PT session. I do this for 45 minutes a couple of times a week, so I'm gonna do this quickly before I head back home and get on with some work stuff. Not enough for you. So back home now, I'm gonna make myself a morning snack. I'm just gonna have a protein bar following my workout and a nice green healthy juice to fill me up for the morning. And I'm gonna sit down and get some work done before it is time to get Cooper. I probably have about 45 minutes at this point before it's time to go and fetch him. So I'm just gonna get as much as I can done in a short amount of time. Then don't pretend everything's okay I actually have some filming for a brand to do later today while he's napping so I'm going to plan all of that out so that I can be productive and get it done quickly when he's napping this afternoon see what you have in front of you my little angel is home from nursery he only does mornings at the moment so i pick him up at midday and he has had a lovely morning playing at nursery he loves going after a bit of a rocky start he really really loves it there so i'm going to bring him back home and make him some lunch he's always starving when we get home after a busy morning so i'm just going to make him a quick lunch some philadelphia sandwiches some fruits some crisps and i will set him up with his lunch he's had his lunch I put him down for his afternoon nap and it means that I can have my lunch I'm gonna make a quick healthy lunch that I've been loving at the moment where I just fry up some chopped cherry tomatoes until they're nicer brown I add a big fistful of spinach and wilt that down and then I sprinkle it with some low-fat feta cheese and I mix it all together till it gets nice and melty and creamy and I'm just going to put that on top of a couple of slices of brown sourdough bread and that's it that's my quick easy healthy lunch all sorted I 
So now I have fueled myself, I'm gonna get some housework done quickly before I get on with my jobs for today well jobs as in work not house jobs first thing I'm gonna do is just fold up the laundry and take all of this upstairs I'll put it into piles to be put away later obviously I can't put it all away right now as Cooper is asleep Also just going to put on a fresh load in the washing machine. And I'm left with about 45 minutes to do my job that I need to do today. I'm working with a brand where I need to film a reel, so I planned this all earlier and this is me filming and executing the plan that I made earlier. After about an hour or an hour and a half, I wake Cooper up. I don't let him have too long because otherwise it means it takes him longer to fall asleep later on at bedtime. So I'm going to wake him up. He's never pleased about being woken up. So we have to have a lot of cuddles and we have to have some chocolate to bring us round because he can get a bit sad when he's woken up, bless him. So I'm going to sit him on the sofa with me. I've got a little milky bar and that usually does the trick. It is time to go get Big Brother from school. As you can see, he's never too happy about this because he hasn't been awake for long and he doesn't want to go in the car and have to drive to school. But honestly, as soon as we get there, he's absolutely fine. So Leo has been fetched from school and we're actually gonna pop to my parents' house after school today to have a little play and a cup of tea. As I said, I am on my own this week, so it's nice to break the week up and go and visit family. Once we get home, it is dinner time. I am making the boys sausages with potatoes for dinner. So I'm just gonna make some really quick potato wedges. I just slice up some white potatoes. Pop them in the air fryer with a little bit of oil, a little bit of salt and pepper. They always come out really tasty. The boys always enjoy them. And I'm gonna put some sausages in the air fryer as well. All this will be cooked and ready to eat in 20 minutes. The boys will sit down together now and eat their dinner together. I'm gonna have my dinner later when the boys are in bed. Sometimes we eat together and sometimes I eat later and today is just one of those days. Cooper had a yogurt for his pudding as well and Leo has requested to have some mango for his pudding so I'm just gonna pop some of this mango in a bowl. And After dinner, the boys are having some chill time where they can just run around and play and be boys. And I'm gonna go upstairs and get their bath ready. The boys still always bath together, especially when I'm on my own. It's so much quicker, so much more convenient if I do them both at the same time. And actually, they love having a bath together. They always have good fun in the bath together. So we're just gonna play and be silly and enjoy bath time. Once the boys are out, Leo can dry himself and get his pajamas on that I've put out for him and I am going to get Krupa nice and dry and put his pajamas on. Then we'll go downstairs and have our milk. Honestly, my boys love milk so much. They both have it in the morning. They both have it in the evening. Cooper is gonna have a warm bottle of milk and Leo will have a cup of cold milk as well. 
this is just a nice time of the evening where we can just chill together and the boys can drink their milk. Sometimes we play a game together, sometimes the boys are doing something together, or sometimes they're just watching their iPads. I mean, every day is different, right? Cooper goes to bed first at around 7 p.m. So I'm gonna take him up to his bedroom, make it nice and cozy. We'll read a little story. I'm trying to get into the habit of bedtime stories even though he just skips the pages so quickly. So we have a bedtime story and then I will put him down in his cot and kiss him goodnight. This is the time of day when me and Leo do his school reading. It's just much easier when Cooper's in bed. So we have some time, just me and him, where we can read a book before it's his turn to go to bed. He goes to bed at about half past seven. Again, we have a little story together. I'll kiss him goodnight and that'll be it. It's not much, but it's all I have. You know, if we could run to a place where we belong. So by 7.45 both my boys will be asleep and it means I can sit down, I can eat my dinner and I've got some more work to do. I need to edit the filming that you saw me doing earlier today so I'm going to get on with that. But that is what a normal day looks like for me when I'm on my own. Don't forget to subscribe guys and I'll see you in my next video.